What's up everybody, here we are today at Black Diamond Lake but before I get started make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the video so you can keep track of things that I do as I upload them. Alrighty, so here we are today at Black Diamond Lake. If you have a look at it, it's definitely not black, but it's extremely nice blue water. We are about uh, 200 kilometers south of Perth, a little bit, and this is probably one of um, the best looking natural bodies of water that you can get to very closely. We're gonna actually go and have a look at another one that's pretty similar that we can actually swim at as well, um, and that would be a bit next. But, you know, if you have a look at that, nice and blue this is um, used to be a coal mine it's near the town of Collie which is a, a coal mining town and it used to have a power station here which I think is still there but it's getting decommissioned but this is um, yeah pretty cool I'm about to fly up with my drone have a look at it from the air and then we'll see the next lake So we are here at Lake Stockton, as you can see, it is a pretty blue lake as well, but this one's much bigger and there are people with their uh, boats here do some jet skiing and plus there's heaps of people out here uh, camping all around the actual lake. Um, you can camp, they've got fire rings that you can use for cooking, um, depending on the time of year where you can have a fire or not. Uh, also they've got some flushing toilets which is pretty good, uh, a bit of a step up from a lot of the usual campgrounds around here. But, you know, it's pretty cool, it's one of the spots I think I might come down and bring the kids, uh, maybe when it's uh, not so hot to um, camp and be able to have a fire and still be in a pretty scenic spot. Behind me, but one of the cool things is that you can actually see a bunch of coal left in the water. I was taking some photos of it before, so it shows that um, pretty rich area. Just looking around, lots of different spaces, there's coal as well. It's pretty cool. You should uh, come down and have a look if you're ever in the collie area. It's only about 10 minutes out of town, so uh, very convenient to all facilities that um, most remote camping places don't actually have. Ending our day here at the Collie Water Playground in the city, uh, Collie or town of Collie, I guess you could say. We didn't swim at the lake just because it uh, didn't have a really good spot for us to get in and for the kids to have a go, but we promised them to have a swim, so here we are to have a look at the water park and Sienna running around in there. It's pretty cool, but um, there's these spots within a few hours of Perth that you can go to and have a look at. Um, it's a uh, good activity to go around with your family, I guess you could say. But that's the end of this video. So until next time, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Peace. Hey, how you going? Just uh, wanted to put a quick message at the end. If you have made it this far, just want to say I've got a new camera. I've got a Canon EOS M3, which was um, uh, has good autofocus, which is a bit better than my Canon 6D, which I wasn't able to get a sharp picture, which I'm pretty happy with now. And I'm also editing this video in Adobe Premiere Rush. Let me um, know what you think in the comments below, please, if you notice any difference. Um, I'm still getting my head around it. I was using iMovie before, uh, and this is a tester. So if you have made it this far, let me know what you think. Cheers.